Hello, hey, and welcome to the demonstration of the ePanic button. This is going to be a quick review of the functions and features, but if you have any more questions, especially about technical issues, feel free to contact us. We'd be glad to meet with you online or have a conversation on the phone. But in essence, the ePanic button is a software program that goes on your computers using your network to communicate instantly regarding any emergency situations. It's meant for those frontline employees to quickly and discreetly get support, more importantly, at those early stages so you can prevent it from escalating. It, that's why it's really great for front desk personnel, uh, human resource managers, professors. I think you probably can recognize the need for your employees to get that support quickly. We've been around since 2008. We've got hundreds of accounts all across the nation and, and in other countries and thousands of users. And it actually has been used to help save uh, people from being assaulted and we're, and we're real glad about that. What makes this a little bit different is, again, we've got that range of buttons. You can customize this to whatever you need so that you can address the early stage issues to prevent it from getting worse. It's not meant for the broad mass notification. It's more about many people being able to contact a few as opposed to a few being able to contact many. Again, no hardware involved except for our foot pedal, but we're not going to be mounting uh, panels on your walls or running wires through your ceilings or putting uh, devices on your desks. As long as you got a computer, then it's easy to update, customize, and roll out. In essence, this is what it looks like for the end user experience. If you're a receptionist or front desk person, you could mouse click on one of the buttons that pops up if you roll over this icon. Also, each of these buttons also has a corresponding hotkey, so you could choose the hotkey combo like Control F2. The one bit of hardware that I mentioned is optional, and that's our foot pedal. Just plugs into a USB port, step on it with your foot, and it's the same thing as if you as if you clicked one of these buttons. So if you do any of these three things, then you have three types of messages rolling out. You have the pop-up alert that goes up on the desktop of anyone's screen that you choose. You can also send text messages and emails as well. So someone could get all three of these or just get a text message. And not only do you have different types of messages, we also have different messages in themselves depending upon who you are. Security guards could get a pop-up, a text, and an email saying, I need your help. But coworkers could be told, hey, we got a situation, stay out of here, and they just get a, a pop-up alert. Well, that's all great. That's, this is a visual uh, description, but why don't you see it in action? If you look down at the bottom right of my screen, I've got two icons down here. Uh, the red one is the sending client, and the white one is the receiving client. But as I mentioned before, if you uh, mouse over this red icon, you get two buttons that's part of our default system, support for low-level concerns, security for high-level concerns. Well, I can press my keyboard or my mouse. I'm just going to show you uh, the mouse click method. Um, this pops up. I've got a headset right now, so you can't hear the audible alarm, but there's an audible alarm that you can mute. If I double-click it, we get a better view. This is all about who sent the message from what workstation, and the top part is all what you pre-configure, anything that you enter in there to let the receiver know what message you want them to know about. While I have this window open, I want to show you another great feature is that you could add notes to it, such as uh, well, whatever you want to put in here. This is part of your documentation as your follow-up to show what um, uh, the results were of the incident. and you can export any notes and the log of activities through our export um, button. Click on that. There are the notes that I just added for this event showing when it occurred, who had that problem, along with the whole log of the alerts that I received. So this is great for uh, reporting features or for your quarterly safety meetings. It's just a way to document the incidents that occurred. Another point that I want to show you is um, you can confirm that you got the message. So if, if you look at the sending client again, pretend you're the receptionist and you have the red circle down there, it's got a white E. Well, if the security guard who gets this window clicks respond, get a little green check mark there, more importantly, uh, for the sending client, the receptionist computer, that little E turns green so they know someone manually clicked it 
you know someone read it and that someone could be on the way to offer their support. Uh, a little bit about how the program uh, works, there's two parts to it. There's uh, a local client that goes on the workstations and that's really important to understand that the logic, all the programming is in the workstation so that the messages are relayed peer to peer. There is no relay up to our servers back down to your receivers. Uh, as long as, as your network is up, the messages, the pop-up alerts will go through. The emails, of course, require some sort of SMTP email server. You're welcome to use ours or yours, but naturally you do need the internet to connect to the server to relay those emails. But again, nothing is relayed up through our server. Our server simply works as a configurator, determining who gets what buttons and essentially whatever configurations you do up on the server it'll sync up and match up with that local workstation all the the members of that uh, all the users whenever they reboot uh, let's, you could set it one time a day or there's a manual refresh option as well let me show you what that uh, that program looks like so you get an idea of the system right here here I am uh, Johnny Lee right there I'm going to look at my buttons. I've got red and yellow, boom, red and yellow that it matches right there. One thing that's nice about the program is you can combine your folks into groups so that if you've got a large organization, you can have different offices, even spread out across the state. And those groups can be defined by IP address. Therefore, when the program rolls out, it'll detect where that computer is by its IP address and then put them in the right group. However, if, if you want to have groups that don't fall into an IP range, you could always make up an IP range like that and just manually put people in. The purpose of a group is sort of like a template. That gives you the master button settings that uh, rolls out to all of its members. So my particular computer is in this default group. See, I got the same buttons there. But I'm going to show you how fast it is to create a new button. This could be really handy if you ever uh, have, have a stalking situation and someone has a restraining order and you have an emerging issue that you want to deal with. I'm creating a, right now a medical alert button. We'll pick the blue icon. And here's where I could determine what pop-up messages state and who gets them. And the emails, or what well, are emails, this is where you create the email and determine who gets the emails. It's also where you could uh, create your text messages as well. Text messages are actually sent through as emails. So I created this for the default group. Yes, I want that to go out there. And now I'm going to go back and look at my, um, my buttons because uh, I'm in the default group. And there we go. It rolled out to all the members, but it's not actually synced up yet on the local workstation. So if I reboot it or later on today it'll switch, or I can do a quick refresh profile, boom, there's my medical alert button. That's how fast and adaptable the program is, which I think is, is pretty neat. Um, well, we just saw how you can create buttons and alerts and text messages and receiver groups. In terms of rolling out, again, there's that small client that gets installed on the local workstations. If you have multiple users then at a workstation like a front desk, then just label it front desk instead of a person's name. The program is tied to the computer, not the users. So again, it's really more important about where you're responding as opposed to uh, who you're responding to. And if you have a large organization, after you do your testing, we can help you roll it out through a silent um, command line push for easy distribution. Our, our default system is, again, support for low-level concerns, security for high-level concerns, but you could scrap this and come up with your own system. You could uh, have seven buttons. You can have just one button. It's all configurable. But not only do you have different buttons for different reasons, you could also let people uh, know in different ways. Your security folks can get a pop-up, an email, and a text for whatever situations. Your administrators might just get an email for their more serious events. And the person who's never at their desk, they can get a text message. So you can imagine any configuration we could work out. The real essence, again, that makes us different is you could easily adapt the program to any emerging situation. 
it rolls out very simply uh, across your organization. You could set up a small office in just a matter of you know under an hour, um, and the the program is continually being updated and improvements. And we have a lot of great uh, features coming down the, the pipes. In terms of, of pricing, I just hope you can understand that, again, it's tied to the workstation, so it doesn't matter how many users sign in, it's that one computer that's considered one workstation. So up to 10 workstations is $3.99 a year, up to 25 workstations, $6.99 a year. It includes all patches, upgrades, maintenance, and our uh, installation tech support. If we ever get really intensive, we need the developer in there to uh, do some intensive tech support. Uh, we may ask for that $75 an hour, but in our past five years, we've only asked this just once, and uh, we rarely ever do. Those foot pedals are just uh, $50 a piece. We're also a security company. As, long as, as, as well as providing software, we do webinars about two or three a month, bring in nationally known experts. We've got a ton of model policies, resources, training guides, all these things which we want to help you stay safe. So it's not just providing you a, a, a panic button, but like a front desk security guide or a workplace violence policy that you could utilize to help keep your workplace safe. If you're interested, uh, you're welcome to try it out. We'd be glad to um, give you a trial account and um, all the support to get you uh, tested and to uh, roll it out to your small test group. But we don't invoice you after 30 days. Really, we, we give it to you. We make sure that you're happy with it, but there's no obligation at all. We understand if it doesn't work for you, that's fine. But we find that most people who try this out do like it. So thank you so much. If I can help you in any way, please let me know. I look forward to working with you in the future. Stay safe, everyone.